G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're ready for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, pretty big day on the calendar for drinks and green is the go for drinks for a lot of people on St. Patrick's Day, whether it's just green food coloring in the beer or you're coming up with some sort of green cocktail. And let's be honest, uh, the only decision is what do you color it with? The two big ones are Midori, a melon liqueur from Japan, or you know, someone else's melon liqueur, uh, and of course, green creme de menthe. So it depends if you want it a little bit fruity and sweet, or a little bit minty, or a lot minty in the case of creme de menthe. So that's, <laughs> I think when you're making it, I'm gonna make a green drink. It's either gonna be creme de menthe, or, or a melon liqueur, or just, you know, green food coloring. Just don't mess about. But I've come up with something, uh, and this is inspired by uh, yet another cocktail challenge from the cocktail community, uh, the challenge crew, and that's Rob from Rob's Home Bar, uh, Dave from Booze on the Rocks, and Vino from 60 Second Cocktails. This month's cocktail is called the Drunken Shamrock. Pretty simple rules. Uh, it's gotta be green, have some Irish inspiration in there, and just use the hashtag Drunken Shamrock 2021 and put it up this month, of course, because it's this month's challenge. So, uh, most people I think are probably going with Irish whiskey, and hey, Irish whiskey is great, but I like to do stuff and feature spirits and liqueurs that you don't necessarily have, but might get inspired to try. And what I'm going to do is introduce you to Pachin, if you're not already familiar with it. This is an Irish spirit, it's basically an unaged, whiskey. If, if, you, if this went through the whole aging process, this would become Irish whiskey. But this is moonshine. This is Irish moonshine. Uh, it's usually spelt either P-O-T-E-E-N or P-O-I-T-I-N. Either way, it's pronounced Pachin. A lot of people think it's pronounced Pachin, but no, I have friends who are actually Irish and told me in Guelga it is Pachin. That's how you say it. So that's a little factoid. You can get one up on your friends. It's not Pachin, it's Pachin. And uh, this one is actually made by the Teeling Distillery. Uh, they're reasonably well known for their Irish whiskey. And uh, as I said, it's moonshine. This is 52.5% uh, alcohol. So that's uh, 105 proof. So it's got a little bit of kick to it. Uh, in terms of taste, people often refer to Pachin as being a bit earthy. So it's, it's essentially this unrefined whiskey. It's uh, got a bit of kick to it. So I thought what would be fun is to use Pachin and I tossed up a few different recipes to make it with. And I finally thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like an Irish martini. Instead of gin, I'm gonna use pachin and I'm gonna make it green as well. And I did toss a coin a little bit. Do I want it to be minty or a little bit fruity? I am going to go with the Midori for the green coloring in this. And I'm gonna give it a go. And of course it lends itself to its own name. So what I'm about to make for you is a pachini. Martini purists will already be going, that's not a martini. I hate it when people call something a martini and it's not a martini. Shut the fuck up, okay? Uh, it's just, we're having fun here. I'm substituting a different spirit for the gin. Uh, but I will go pu purist and say, it's not a martini if it's got vodka. It's gotta be gin. But anyway, this one is going to be a uh, pachini and I'm gonna make this a somewhat dry martini or pachini. And I'm going to go with two ounces of my wonderful Irish moonshine. As I said, I'm going to make this a fairly dry martini. I'm going to use an Australian vermouth maidenized classic. It's one of their uh, semi-dry vermouth, but I'm just going to put half an ounce, 15 mils of vermouth in. You could adjust that to your taste. You could put more or less of your preferred vermouth in. This is me going a bit on the drier side, 15 mils of vermouth. And we do have to make it green, St. Paddy's Day and the Drunken Shamrock Challenge. So as I said, I'm going to use Midori, not a huge amount. Again, I'm just going to do half an ounce, 15 mils of Midori to get that green color in. This is a stirred drink, so ice in our mixing glass. I've got Gaz Regan's magic finger to help me out. Yeah, little tip, martinis are stirred. James Bond was a moron. Don't listen to anyone who says, to shake a martini, stir it. If you want extra dilution, you just stir it for longer. It's as simple as that. But I'm gonna give this a stir, you know, 30 or 40 revolutions, and we'll see how we go. 
Now I'm going to use my Hawthorne strainer so we don't get big chunks of ice in the martini. Pour it into my martini glass, which has been chilling. This is a fairly voluminous martini glass. Um, it's very nice. So there we have, we've got that nice green shade uh, coming in from our Midori. Uh, and I've literally never made this before. So here we go with a taste test. Does it have a particular aroma? Not really. Let's go for a taste. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like, whoa, I like that. That's good. I have to admit, I've tried my Pachin straight before and it's a bit content fierce. So just those little introductions of a little bit of vermouth and the Midori. You don't need the Midori, I just did that for the green. But just a little bit of vermouth and also stirring it down to dilute it a bit. It's, uh... Mmm. Oh, <laughs> this is actually quite good. Uh, also, I did do a test just purely for colour before shooting this video and I used gin in that because I actually have a limited amount of my pachin. So I made a gin martini and so I've got a quick comparison. The pachin has less botanicals. It doesn't have the botanicals at all that a gin has, but uh, it does have a really nice character. It's just... Mm. No, no, uh, for an... Uh, what, what shall we call? I'm I'm torn between just calling it a Pacini and uh, an Emerald Martini. Maybe Emerald Martini, Pacini. And that sounds like I'm talking about the classical music person, doesn't it? Pacini. Yeah, maybe I'll go with Emerald Martini because uh, that that sounds a bit sexier marketing wise. But yeah, if you get the opportunity, it's not a very widely distributed. Uh, spirit, but it is picking up. I can get a few different uh, brands in Australia. Uh, but yeah, Ireland's moonshine, essentially. Pachin makes a thoroughly decent martini in my book. Uh, wherever you are uh, around the world, if you are celebrating on St. Patrick's Day, I hope you have a good time. Don't overdo it. Just have a good time. Uh, whether you're in a place like I am where you can actually hang out with friends, if you're still in an area that has some strict lockdowns, maybe do some online sharing with friends and uh, try your best to have a good time. Definitely, you got to look after yourself uh, and do something nice for people around you as well. Do something nice for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and uh, let me know what you have planned for St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully I will see you again soon. I hope you do take care of yourself in the meantime. Until I see you again, I will just say, cheers.